So let's pretend we have a Zoom seminar where we have a very large PowerPoint presentation that you want to share with your audience. And then sometime during this presentation, you want to go out of the presentation because there's a break or lunch, or maybe you want to display something else. But how are you going to do this? It's not really that easy unless you have auto presentation switcher. So what we want to achieve now with APS is to stack these images on top of these images. So to achieve this, you need the Stream Deck, APS, and Companion. To set this up, we first check that APS is connected, and then we go to the buttons, and we use the presets. Uh, so we already have made the buttons with all the commands and the feedback. And first we want to capture six screenshots. And on this first page, we're going to display them. And then there is one more button I want to have, and that is the freeze button. Okay, so now we're going to record these images to these buttons here. So we start by displaying the first one. And now we go to the capture and we capture. Do this for all six. Now, if you go back here, you can see we have all the buttons at our fingertips. So now this means that when you are displaying this PowerPoint, you can stack this image on top of the PowerPoint. So now we are prepared, we have the images here, and we are ready to share our desktop with the audience and start the meeting. The first thing we do is that we put on the intro slide, and then we share our desktop. And we open the PowerPoint when we are ready, when we remove this image, the PowerPoint will be shown. So we continue, and sometime we want to have the break. And we push the break button. And then the next thing is the lunch. And the advantage of having these images on a separate interface is that you might not know exactly when during the presentation you want to have the break or the image and whatever. So it's very convenient just to have this at your fingertips. And there's one more thing I want to show, and that is the freeze button. Let us say that we discover there's a mistake in the next slide. So you need to go out of your PowerPoint presentation and correct the mistake, then go back. Normally, if you do this, you are going to display the desktop background and you will reveal to the audience that something is not right. With the freeze button, you push this and now you're actually not seeing your presentation. What you're seeing is an image that is displayed on top of your presentation. So when you go out of the presentation, you, the audience can still see this image. They don't know that you're actually out of your presentation. So you go here and you change something, uh, you go back, maybe we go back to the uh, old slide and then you unfreeze and now you are seeing your PowerPoint again. And you, when you go to the next slide, you have this new updated slide. So this is how you can use Auto Presentation Switcher together with Companion to better control what you are sharing on the external display. And I think this can be quite useful if you are a presenter on Zoom, because in this setup you normally have just one computer that's connected directly to Zoom. You don't have a hardware switcher where you can combine different presentations and backgrounds, images and videos. But with our software you can actually do a lot of these things just inside your computer and this little controller that you have on the side. So if you want to test it out yourself, please go to our webpage presentationtools.com. Take care and see you again soon.